Hello YouTube. Today I will be doing a video on how to install Craft Bucket and then how to install World Edit. So to start off, what you need to do is download the two things from the links below. Um, the two websites will look like this for Bucket. Just download the green one and like this for World Edit and just click the download and download it. So once you've downloaded it, you'll have a zip file and a jar file on where in your download folder. So what you need to do is create a new folder and name it whatever you want. It's going to be the server folder. So server. Okay. So now that your server folder is set up, you then copy craft bucket in. And now that you've copied craft bucket in, you will need to make a file called run.bat. So what you will do is you will open up a word editor, so notepad for instance, um, new or text document even. Open that up and then you will type in just hold on a second. You will type this into that fold folder. Um, I will post that below as well. So simply copy that into the notepad and then save as and save it as run.bat. So once you've saved it like that, you'll have a run.bat file on your desktop as well. So what you need to do then is copy that into your server folder and run it. So double click and it will run. Now in this case it's not running for me because I've already made a server. Actually no, the reason it's not running is because I haven't I had forgot to do something. You see craft bucket here. You have to remove all this text and just leave it as craft bucket dot jar. Once you've done that you run the run.bat and it will create your server for you. So right now it's just generating the world and once it's done that I shall go on to the next part. Right, so the world's completed, simply type stop and it saved the world and it's going to shut down in a moment. Okay, so now that it's shut down, you go into the plugins folder that's just been created and open up the world, fo world edit zip and what you need to do is create a file called world edit. Um, let me see. can't remember exactly what I did. Yeah, plugins. Yep, yeah, you create a... Uh, sorry, you don't create a world. You just copy in worldedit.jar. And once you've copied that in, you start up the server again by clicking run.bat. And it will load up. And you see there it's registered that world edit is in the file. So now the server is running with world edit and if you look in plugins it's created a world edit folder. Okay so let's connect to this new world. Okay, there we go it's generated now I need to OP myself Okay, so now that I've OP'd, I can try world edit slash slash wand. Okay, I don't have permission yet. Uh, slash slash game mode one. Okay, for some reason it hasn't OP'd me. But yes, anyway, uh, let me try that again. So it's created everything. Um, bear with me. Let's 
should start up again. Okay, it's started up. I shall open up Minecraft. Uh, now your server IP will literally be your computer's IP address. So in case, in this case, mine's 192.168.1.64. Okay, so here you can see I have, I had in this one I've set my game mode to 1, so I'm in creative. And to get your wand, you either just get a wooden pickaxe, or you type slash slash wand and it'll spawn your wand. So, thank you for watching, and if you have any troubles, just comment below. Goodbye.